Right, <coughs> Pinball FX3, and we're on the table 45. My collection. Now, if you were sad enough to watch the last video, you'll know that uh, there are two on covering, which then, well, it will be revealed in a third as to why I did these particular two. So the next one is one I am really not looking forward to doing. So this is from the Jurassic Park series of tables, which I haven't covered any of them yet. Um, one is okay, I guess. One is totally forgettable. And one is the worst uh, table of the entire game. It's it surpassed V12 for being the worst. Thankfully, that's not the one I'm doing today. That was the one I was doing when I smashed my Xbox 360 controller up, though. So anyway, this one is... Jurassic Park Pinball Mayhem. Yep. Jurassic Park Pinball Mayhem. Now, my best score on this table is 312 million. Single player <coughs> I won't be getting anywhere near that. Let's just load it up. All right, now you go in nice and slow. Slip past those one of your reptiles and bring anything even remotely resembling a human creature back to the mainland. I understood. So yeah, the object of this is that there are a load of uh, civilians stuck on the island which have supposedly been sent there by the military and uh, you are now supposed to be like organising the military to get them out this is something that, okay, this game isn't made by American developers but clearly they have American films very much in mind with this idea and not just Jurassic Park because you see it an awful lot in American films. They are forever banging on about the fact that their military is the greatest in the world. Which is absolute bollocks to start with. I mean, they may have the best equipment, but the American military is completely populated by absolute retards. And the thing is, the films always sort of illustrate that to a degree, because they will always constantly fuck things up they will always constantly make the most ridiculous decisions but somehow there is always some cunt who is able to sort everything out and suddenly the whole world thinks that the American military is great I'm not a fan of those films in case you hadn't noticed anyway let's get this game underway so you have to choose where you start um, depending on where you start uh, you can alter the uh, bonuses that you get Fuck the the tail of the Stegosaurus. so this uh, skill shot is not the most difficult there is but I do still have a habit of fucking it up we have found an alternative route that's not the actual main skill shot that's the secondary one the I'll ball. take it so we've already got the ball locked Now you may have already noticed with this layout that firstly the table is very small and secondly there's not an awful lot on it um, and that is because this table of the three pack this is the one that is instantly forgettable I mean there's just fuck all here Alright, so another ball gets launched. If we can knock the ball off the crane there, we uh, start a multiple session. Crane multi ball! There we go. And of course, I send the first multi ball, ball out without even getting a chance to fucking use it. 
Now the jackpots are very low scoring. Not lose that ball. Uh, on yeah, on this table the jackpots are quite low, sco low scoring, so you're not going to get a you know vast amount. Uh, I've got two million for that shot there. But yeah, the jackpot is only, I think, quarter of a million. Good job. <clears throat> Medivac is a no go. Call off the venture. Scanning the area. Oh, it's straight down the fucking middle. I look like fuck it out, I don't know how the hell I managed to fucking save that. And then it went the other one went straight out instead. <clears throat> you may have noticed there something that this table does a hell of a lot. The ball travels relatively slowly until it reaches the area around the left or right drain, but particularly uh, the right drain. When suddenly it travels about the f the speed of uh, I don't know about Mark 25 or something, and doesn't matter how good your reflexes are, you aren't stopping that fucker. <coughs> Light drop secured. Thanks. That was one of the shittiest uh, bonuses I could have got. Now when it gets dark. Um, things do quieten down a bit. Thankfully, it didn't stay dark for very long. Check your six. So now there are uh, dinosaur, dinosaur targets cropping Watch up. Your back. They're everywhere. Yeah, well, they're not everywhere. They only appear in like three places. Target in sight. Send in a bird to check the situation. Dinosaur in sight. Nice. Stealth dinosaur inbound. Target neutralized. One down. Uh, okay, got the ball saver active, which is handy. Got a fucking good job I did, innit? it? Ball back. Ball back now. Multi ball starting. Right. That's the other thing I wanted to do. So I've already got a couple of multi balls started, and I am technically on the uh, ball one. So again, we have the usual. Uh, sort of fodder from uh, American made uh, films where again the, uh, the, the the heroes have completely bollocked it up and they've managed to fly their helicopter completely into the mouth of the uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex down there because they're fucking intelligent like that fucking hell Try not to lose that ball. Yeah, well, don't send it down the middle. Uh, about, you know, mark 200, and then I, I fucking won't. Fuck's sake. And then the other one goes down the side. So, I'm down to the last uh, additional ball from the uh, crane multiple that I started. Tango down. 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 I'm supposed to be uh, trying to fight off the uh, dinosaurs and also trying to get the Stegosaurus and the uh, Tyrannosaurus to have a bit of a fucking barney with each other. And I'm failing miserably. So anyway, uh, let's, let's get the review started anyway. Graphically, yeah, I suppose, yeah, graphically it's alright. What's there? But again, it's the age-old thing where there isn't much. So there, because there is so little on the table, yeah, the graphics look fine, but there's just not enough of them, there's not enough objects. Uh, in terms of audio, um, the music is the same music 
well most of the time anyway, it's the same music as used in the uh, Jaws table. Um, when it changes and you have the music that uh, you're hearing at the moment, that's taken from another table, so there is no original music on this table whatsoever. Uh, the voiceovers are of people who I wish would be sent to an American high school so they would be shot. And they are fucking irritating beyond belief. I think the fact that they're meant to be American military really does not help because it means that they are absolutely, uh, well, Three cunts. So, yeah, the audio is a complete. Just, uh, I hate it. Medivac is a no go. Call off the and then when it comes to the gameplay, uh, like I say, the turret, the table is not awful, but it's just, you know. There's nothing here at all. And up until recently, I just, I was, you know, I'd see this and I'd think, well, surely Zen can't be so fucking dry of ideas that this was the best they could come up with. But they seem to have recently been proving, that yes, they are. Now, okay, we have had some good news with regards to, uh, Pinball FX3 because no, then now I have the rights to uh, for the supplies. Uh, do nice. conversions of the uh, Williams Bally Midway tables and they are coming. Alright, we'll do the Stego challenge because this is easy. Our seems to hate those Send the ball the to the uh, marker there and then shoot the uh, Velociraptors. Ball is in place. Target hit. That's it. Just shoot that window for me. One more for uh, maximum bonus. That's how you do the smaller pest than you. No idea what my score is. It doesn't show anywhere near as often. Dinosaur in sight. Target in sight. You've got one more chance to deal with this crisis. Incoming dinosaurs. Turn it. Watch your back. They're everywhere. Deal with those dinosaurs, soldiers. Fucking job, I got it, innit? So, what's my score? Hit the tail of the Stegosaurus. Doesn't even fucking tell me. Let's get on. We have found an alternative route. I'm sending in reinforcements to help you out. Built up breath to raise the stakes. Injured personnel. So if I hit the right flashing lane, you get the bonus for the uh, medevac is a no go. Medivac, Call off the venture. No. Bollocks that up. Just for a change. Oh, okay. <laughs> Located the drop location. Going in for the supplies. Uh, what do we need this time? Might kick come in handy. Okay. I'll take that. Alright, we'll do the Triceratops mode now. So we have to follow the uh, lights and so we know where the ball is going to come from. So, middle and then. Well, it gets the job. I 
think you have to do this five times. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, four times. So, okay, I'm on 139 million. And that's fucking cunt! Alright, so 140. I think I fucked that up. Oh, no. There we go, that's the full skill shot. I mean, you get over 10 million for doing that one, so yeah, it's, it's worth having a stab at it. Now, if you listen to music, you can hear it is definitely the music from the uh, Jaws tape. Hostile dinosaur inbound. Incoming dinosaurs. Deal with those dinosaurs, soldiers. Bird, inbound. Watch your back. They're everywhere. Requesting medevac to injured personnel. Ah, oh, fuck. That's what I was trying to do. And strike away. Medivac is a no go. Call off the venture. Would you be so kind and not lose that ball? You saw I can get it back Pull up in the area. Sinkhole at the top there. It's another two million. And both went straight back in now. A fucking pair of cunts. So, well, I mean, I've pretty much shown you everything about this, everything there is on this table. We're now going to head to the next uh, area. Yeah, we'll go here. That is, yeah, fucking... Is that game over? Yeah, I had that extra ball earlier. We have found an alternative route. Well, at least I know I'm on ball three, so we're okay. Not much longer to go. So yeah, to, to sum up, to sum up, graphics are okay. What few there are. Audio is absolute shit, nice. and the table is utterly forgettable. Uh, I mean, you can rack up some pretty hefty scores on here, no problem. Do the fire one. Smell that? The building is on fire. Put out those flames now. On, putting out the fire. Shoot the target on the crane. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to do my summing up. Um, yeah, the, the table just has hardly anything happening on it. It's, it's so fucking small. There's so little happening on it. And it's, it's... That was close. Good job on not becoming a shish kebab today. And that... And so now it fucking does. That's just yes. Fuck off. So what All was my score? I, I, I couldn't even see what my fucking score was. You have leveled up. Well the only way I think I'm going to see is if I put my name to it. Which I don't really want to do. But... Single player results. Right. So I got 176 million. Whoopee fucking do. So there you go, that is uh, Jurassic Park Pinball Mayhem. Uh, there is nothing on this table that uh, is in any way indicative of Mayhem, you know, whatsoever. Um, graphically fine, there's just not much on there. Uh, audio is shite. Uh, you know, it's either completely just 
lifted straight off another table or it just you know sounds like shit um, and okay yeah you can so you can build up decent scores no problem but because the table is so small and there is absolutely fuck all to do on here it is just completely forgettable uh, everything about this table suggests that it was an afterthought and it was just thrown in at the last minute or thrown together at the last minute so they could include it on in this bundle and so you get three tables instead of just two so I, I score it four out of ten no, 5 out of 10, because, I mean, it's not shit, and let's face it, this is me doing a Pinball FX3 table review, it's a fucking rare occasion when I can actually sit here and say, it's not shit, so yeah, I'll score it 5 out of 10, so it's bang on the, the you know, completely mediocre side, um, and amazingly, that makes this well, certainly not the reason to not buy this table, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Now, like I was saying, uh, you, you may want to, you know, if you're not familiar with this table, watch this one a couple of times to familiarise yourself with the layout of it. Just like I was saying, you may want to do with the Aliens uh, table that I reviewed prior to this. So why do I suggest that? Well, it's all to do with the next one. So, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fantastic.